They have a pretty good view over the perimeter. Um, got the LMTV over here. Mm. So So I'm Cat Vita's uh, Strike 2 Alpha, so I'll be briefing the enemy sit. So right now, at this phase of the operation... So this is like a no-no area. Yeah, I was near that yesterday, I think. Yeah, there's a little shack with a lot. And then our snipers are to the east, uh, watching those. Movements <laughs> moving from the east, or if we have any uh, retreat from the east and maintain contact with like any anything that you need to move, Walt, um, before we get to 26 1700. Yeah, the only thing, sir, is that uh, we'll. And then by battalion roll one location, we'll start with talent. Honor Killer Platoon consists of two dismount reconnaissance teams, um, as well as four snipers that can move between the teams and a stinger sergeant and stinger operator. Okay. 
The mission of the Hunter Killer Platoon is to sense, kill, and protect on behalf of the Brigade Commander. So we sense where the enemy is, utilizing a variety of assets. We can kill the enemy with both fires and direct fire contact. We protect the Brigade with counter OES and counter reconnaissance. Okay. My role as a, platoon, a Hunter Killer Platoon Leader is to train, equip, and execute with my platoon. Uh, we train them to be prepared for the tasks required by the Brigade. In execution, I'm responsible for planning and implementing where my teams will go and what they will look at, as well as receiving any reports they, they send up uh, to answer the Brigade Commander's priority information requirements. Sure. The transition from being Chaos Troop Dismount Reconnaissance to the Multifunctional Reconnaissance Company has come with a variety of changes. Uh, with firstly, equipment. Uh, we were fielded ISVs to provide ourselves uh, a more mobile platform to get to where we need to go faster. Uh, while still being able to dismount and conduct our primary mission. Uh, we've also implemented those Stinger teams to provide us more of the kill asset um, that's being required of us. Uh, also at the company level, it allows, which the company is, includes uh, tactical UAS and electronic warfare personnel, it allows those people to be task organized under the platoon so we can get those assets closer to the enemy. Okay, uh, my primary role as a squad leader and a hunter killer team is to train the men ensure that they're well equipped and well versed in all aspects of our job. So that, that way, when we uh, have to execute actions on an objective, we're able to sense, kill and protect in defense of the brigade uh, more efficiently than the enemy. Uh, all right. During Operation Lethal Eagle, we've been fortunate enough to train special forces to further our capabilities with advanced medicine and combat situations and further our capabilities with small unit tactics, basic, basic infantry tasks, and also further our craft with reconnaissance, answering uh, priority information requirements for the commander and getting the brigade commander a clear picture of what's happening in the battle space. The multi-functional reconnaissance company was stood up on 22 March 2024, and the hunter-killer platoons came from the C Troop of the deactivating 175. We also took the TUIS platoon from 39th BEB and the electronic warfare platoon from the 39th BEB. Our SEOAS masters and electronic warfare masters assist the hunter killer platoons in sensing, killing, and protecting on behalf of the brigade. The main goal of adding the SEOAS masters and the electronic warfare teams is to create standoff between the enemy and the hunter-killer platoons and that's in order to reduce risk to force and risk to mission ultimately answering PIR for the brigade commander calling for fire and prepping objectives for the infantry battalions. A multifunctional reconnaissance company is a result of the transformation in contact and we've been tasked with being painfully light and disproportionately lethal in order to sense, kill, and protect on behalf of the brigade. Ultimately answering PIR for the brigade commander and delivering timely and responsive fires, prepping objectives for the infantry battalions. Hunter killer platoons are the all weather reconnaissance asset for the brigade. And then our SEOAS masters and electronic warfare masters assist the hunter killer platoons in sensing, killing and protecting on behalf of the brigade. The main goal of adding the SUAS masters and the electronic warfare teams is to create standoff between the enemy and the hunter killer platoons. And that's in order to reduce risk to force and risk to mission, ultimately answering PIR for the brigade commander, calling for fire and prepping objectives for the infantry battalions. As we, overcome, uh, our, okay. As we overcome challenges of forming a new uh, unit, the multifunctional reconnaissance company will ultimately be prepared to counter near peer adversaries and enable the infantry battalions to seize objectives with minimal inflicted casualties and uh, overwhelm the enemy commander.